All right, all right, guys. What's up? Diego Take You Live here. I got something for y'all. Do not judge me. All right, so... I have a, a little project here. <laughs> um, something that I'm going to be messing with. Yep. You see that? This is um, my new bird. <laughs> so, I'm going to be um, messing with this and showing you all some stuff here. Stick around. Welcome to Techie Life. So, before y'all going on saying that I'm doing something illegal, um, just this was given to me by by a source uh, I can't really tell you from where but this is this bird is off the grids already it's already been you know considered a loss whatever um, like I said it was given to me by somebody so I'm not breaking any rules right now anyways we're gonna learn how to take this apart dismantle it and learn how to convert it into a regular scooter and not a bird scooter so um, I did start um, kind of taking taking things apart already, but first off, what we need to do is we need to take out this paper, and that's it. It's no longer a bird scooter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So what we're gonna need uh, first is uh, let's see, this is a T8 screwdriver, uh, Torx. So there are six Torx bits here. Like I said, I've already started uh, unscrewing this or taking it apart, so it's gonna be fairly quick here. Let's see here. And I actually haven't seen this scooter run, so it's been uh, basically dead for about a year. And we're gonna see what we can do to bring it back alive here. Well, at least try to. Let's finish up this one. So, let's go ahead and remove that top cover. And uh, normally this this uh, would be actually tied down or bolted down with six screws here. So one, two, three, four, five, or maybe just five screws. And then we'll have this uh, power pack here plugged in like so. So we take that off, take out those screws and then we're left with this in the back here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unplug this sucker. It's got some adhesive there, or some sealant there. Just go ahead and uh, just pull it out, it'll come out. So what we do notice here is that there is a, a battery uh, powering this board, and this board seems like, look at this, seems like this is how they communicate and it seems like they're using uh, Verizon can't really see it looks like they're using Verizon as their provider which is pretty cool because Verizon is probably one of the best providers of cellular coverage so we're gonna remove this so that way we got no issues with them later on um, and we won't actually be using this at all um, I don't see why so I'm just going to remove this and say bye bye to that. Now, one of the things that I'm looking at um, is this harness kind of type of deal. Mm, I might actually get rid of this. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but there are some kits online that we're going to be, that I'm going to be purchasing um, to basically, what do you call it, um, retrofitting it to the, to the original, original style. Um, so, um, I'm going to see if I can take this plate off, see what else I have to remove in order to get this plastic piece off of here. Uh, yeah, it seems like I'm going to have to take that off first. So give me a moment here while I get the right bit size. It looks like it's just a Phillips. So we'll be using a Phillips uh, PH01, so the zero. Only because it's a small 
head here. And I, I actually didn't tell y'all what model this is um, because there are different models for the scooter itself. Um, I, th I believe it's a Xiaomi uh, 365, the model. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But uh, if you Google it or if you look it on eBay, you'll see all the you know the parts that you're gonna need. In order to retrofit this, this is my first uh, scooter retrofitting, by the way. So I'm not familiar with the scooter at, at all. Um, I just, you know, it's electronic, so I like electronics and I like to know what what works with it. So, and of course, this is going to be pretty fun to. To drive or you know to ride let's take this off here and it looks like voila we no longer have the this interface of bird anymore and I'm not too sure if we need this or not but I'm gonna put it back just in case we do need it um, I don't want to later on be have to put in anything or put it back on. Yeah. Let's see what this does here. It actually seems like this is for the flashlight. Yeah, it sure is. So I'm only gonna take these apart so that way y'all can see how it works. Um, we have a Phillips screw under there. Uh, let me take it apart here. And that's just my curiosity just burning me. So and it seems like this flashlight has been actually cut off. So this flashlight won't even work. And we have that kind of sucks. Seems like the whole thing has been cut off. So we might have to go in there and mess with it later on because there seems to be some some uh, wires that have been cut. Mmm, not good at all. So, probably the throttle and whatnot. Gonna have to see how this is gonna tie in later on. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> but stick around, we'll see what happens. So, kind of took it apart, took out the neck, um, I went ahead and took out like, so the neck of it, so I'm going to be finding out, uh, I also took out the uh, handlebars, I'm going to find out what kind of wire these are cut, not too sure why, um, it seems like somebody had some sort of an idea, or, I don't know, uh, now we're just going to be breaking down the, the scooter to see what 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 it has under there because uh, I'm very curious as far as what's running and I think part of me tells me that it's going to have these uh, rechargeable batteries that are very common so on the charging port itself or on the port it says uh, 48 volts DC input which is pretty high from or, you know from what I've seen so the only the only thing that I'm wondering is if, if it's you know uh, a bunch of batteries and in, in series and it's trying you know they want to charge all those four but it's still kind of interesting that it's 48 volts DC I, I would figure it to be 12 volts or 24 or something to that nature but I guess it charges up at a higher rate whenever you know you have a scooter like this a high-powered scooter so we're almost done here and like I said I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a big battery pack with a bunch of those uh, 18650 batteries kind of like the big big double-a batteries so cover comes off 
and I was kind of right. So let me see if I can zoom you in here. Let's see here. Those are the ones I was telling you. And we actually have, uh, see that? There's still life in these batteries. Interesting. So that's a big battery pack. Uh, on this battery, what does it say here? Let's see if we can read. I can't read it, but it says lithium uh, battery iron pack, uh, rated voltage 36 volts. 7,800 milliamps, 280 watts per hour. So this is uh, pretty cool. So it looks like over here we have the, the logic board. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. Looks like we have the logic board that controls that. And I'm trying to see if anybody has messed with this. Got some of these connectors. Very interesting. I like that they place it, you know, at the batteries at the center of the, the bottom center of the, of the frame because it just makes it much more durable here. Charging port is right here. Charging port goes directly to the batteries, so. I don't know. Great having some, um, look at this. This came out very easy, fairly easy. So, obviously there's some work that needs to be done here. And, we're gonna see what's, uh, what's the deal. Why, why this uh, scooter was kind of abandoned and whatnot. So, hope you guys will stick around. And we'll see what happens. Later. Alright, so we actually have the module delivered already I kind of pre-installed it just a bit here and it looks pretty nice here I might actually post a link on the on the video here and it came in a little package um, it has basically like a little power button on there some sticky stuff and stuff we'll use later on but not right now the only problem is after hooking up power, after uh, hooking this little, you know, plug to this guy, which we unplugged already, uh, I wasn't able to get it though. This is the original one that came off from the the bird one, and this is the one that is supplied now. Um, yeah, for some reason it doesn't work. So what I ended up doing is doing a uh, circuit testing here or continuity test so let me show you where um, you know I started going to I was going to do a continuity test from let's see here Ooh. not enough light here sorry for the shakiness guys Let's see if we can turn the scooter around a bit more. All right. Let's see if we can zoom in. It's about as best as it's gonna get right there. Mm. Anyways, so this is the you know, power plugs right here. Um, let me, and I can get a better view here. The scooter's about to fall off here. All right. Anyways, so this is the plug that goes uh, from the, the column here to the the board here. Uh, I was able to check. Let me call it. Let's do this real quick. I want to plug this in, right? And I went to my meter here, went to the ohm settings. So basically checking for continuity. 
and I have some really thin um, leads here makes noise there so what I did is I went on the very first one on the red one one and then on the green one which is the one right next to it and then check this out we got a light green light came on too so that means that the board is or the it's now activated basically at least it seems like it's activated or something turned on so there's power going to there from this guy from the battery pack to here I must have maybe triggered the on switch or something the only problem is when I do plug this guy in I do get power in here I just don't get any uh, activity with the button so I'm thinking that you know when I did do my continuity from here from one of these leads to the other plug I was only to get I was only able to get two of these wires out of the four so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform a repair here using cat5 wire since it's about the same length of it or same size of it and we have eight wires here to work with instead of four so I'm gonna go ahead and start that and I'm gonna remove this out of the let me get some back out here. so I'm gonna remove this out of this housing here or out of this little grommet there and then out of from here and then from the top so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you the ending right now so pulling it out here I removed the grommet the little red grommet I'm seeing some marks here let me see if I can show you let me zoom in here a little bit very hard to tell but anyways there's even like some smash marks here that uh, that might actually be the issue so I'm gonna go ahead and just score this real quick not all the way score it on this side with my scissors here I'm barely putting any pressure to it so just be careful with these scissors because these are pretty sharp these are electric, electric, electrical, electrician scissors, by the way. Can't say that. Zoom out a bit. And I'm thinking that it, it got damage from, you know, when you lean it on the side, it probably hit another scooter or something like that. That's what I can, that's what I think. And it's gonna be, the one that I was able to check, test out was the red and black were still coming through. The ones that weren't are the green and green and, and yellow. And look at there. So we found our issue now. And this, there we go. Those two wires are busted. So guess what? We're gonna go ahead and repair that, and we don't have to replace the whole wire now. We can either solder it if you want, or we can just splice it from here. Um, I'm probably just gonna solder it because it's probably easier to solder, or it's a cleaner, cleaner uh, repair to just solder it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and we'll hopefully test it out. All right, guys. So here's my little soldered connection here. Let me show you real quick. So basically just uh you know soldered it real quick with uh man i'm terrible with this camera there it is right there and went ahead and hooked it up to the board here turn this off went ahead and hooked it up to the board and you know this thing made a beep noise and so See if I can power it on again here. So I really don't know how I powered this on. <laughs> I 
not too sure. I must have a bad connection here, yeah. So there's a bad connection here that I gotta fix. See that? So, probably one of the pins here needs to be uh, reset or whatever. But, it's okay because, check this out. So we have that light come on, push the throttle, and then let's spin it. Uh, it's kind of hard to get this here without falling. Terrible time here. So I don't know what's up. Well, I had it earlier, so I don't know. Like I said, it might be one of those connections there. It's not working. Yeah, because the brake's not even working anymore, so it's definitely going to be uh, one of these plugs here. So I'm gonna have to redo this connector, see what I can do, and I'll show you again. All right, so we got it now. I was able to uh, open this connector up, uh, take out the pins, utilizing my small little needle point there, and I squished the pins together so they can grasp the, the connector better. So now we have it on, um, so the throttle's on, and let me spin it. Again, man, this is just not my day while I'm on camera. Jesus. All right, so throttle on. There it is. Took a long time. So, hope you learn how to fix your you know scooter or whatever because this is more than just a, a conversion this is a complete not complete repair but this is a repair that threw me out of loop uh, not only was it uh, damaged from this wire here um, so I had to repair that not only was the connector damaged from there uh, but also the what else was it oh these these I didn't show y'all but they were all cut up or I did show y'all they were all cut up so I had to re-solder this and do that as well um, so hopefully guys I'll, I'll show you a picture once it's done locked up and hopefully I get the app and but till next time guys see you guys later